Catch Your Breath DNA is about the structure of DNA and not about anything else. It requires no knowledge of biology, no knowledge of DNA, no knowledge of molecular biology. It's about the structure of DNA and the lesson is contained within the models. The, this, the prep is not insignificant, but if you put some time into it, and I'm thinking maybe an hour or something like that, you will have days and days and a week and more with no lesson plans. I used to be a biology teacher, and I know that that would be a really powerful, good thing for you. It would be to be relieved of lesson plans for a while. DNA, the, the structure of DNA in biology is composed of four different things. They hook together with elegant simplicity. They only go together one way. Catch Your Breath DNA has four things. They only go together one way. And um, the students will very quickly be able to look at the models and see how they go together. This, this requires no um, knowledge on your part, no knowledge on their part. When they are done, they will have perhaps a better understanding of the structure of DNA than many biology students. This is about the structure of DNA and nothing else. The, the, the prep for this lesson is not insignificant. You need... Scissors, a lot of pairs of scissors. You need glue sticks, a lot of glue sticks. You need colored markers, and you need a lot of them. You need a lot of blue, a lot of green, and a lot of red. I've been using these dry erase markers. They work well. I was using brown, but I couldn't find brown dry erase markers, so I went to green, blue, and red. And you can buy a package of each. You, you, you need a lot of markers of the three colors. You need a lot of pairs of scissors, and you need a lot of glue sticks. The template, it's all really based upon the template. The template has a front and back, and it needs to be copied as a front and back so that the, the template, the front and the back are the, are the same. The document which you have printed out has the templates, and you need to print the front on the front and the back on the back, and it's a bit of a trick. The way I do it is... I take one of the pages and I put it in the copy machine and I make a bunch of copies. You need two to four to five copies per student. So I would say 300 is not probably not too many. So you need 300 copies. Schools tend to have these big fancy copy machines with feeders. Raise it up. Don't use the feeder. Raise it up. Take the first page, put it into the copy machine Run off 300 copies. This is the way I do it. Run off 300 copies. It'll take, you know, 10 minutes or something. It'll take, it'll take a while. And you'll end up with a stack of papers about this big. Take that stack of papers, go to the copy machine and turn it over and put it back in the copy machine upside down. Put the other page. You have two pages. You want the other page now in the copy machine in the same way and make one copy. And look at the copy. Okay, let's say it comes out and they're both on the same side. Well, that's not good. Take your, take your stack of papers, your stack of 300 pages, and turn it over. Make another copy. See how it looks. Go, um, this isn't right. Turn it around and make it so it lines up properly. Make another copy. Get it closer and closer. And finally, you'll find that it comes out perfect. The quality standard I use is that if you look at, if you look at it, against the light, you don't see two lines. You're not going to make it perfect, but if you don't see two lines, that's good enough. And then and then make, run off 20 copies and make sure it's, double check it, make sure it's good. Run off 20 copies and look at them and look at them and make sure, they're, make sure they look okay. And then set the copy machine for 300 minus 20, let's say minus 6 would be 170, 275 copies. Put in 275 and hit, hit go and let the thing make your templates for you. You're done. You're done. You have an overhead which you can use or not. It's in the document you printed. There's a, a, a video for students. The directions for the students last a minute and a half. The video is 15 minutes long. It's a loop on this minute and a half. It goes on. It goes around and around and around. The, the plan is simple and the students will be able to figure it out. You don't need to do much. This lesson plan will work for, I would say, fourth grade through college. 
If you're going to do it in college, you probably don't want to spend days and days and days on it, but I think it would be worthwhile even in college. The fourth graders will love it. When they're done with this lesson plan, every student you have will remember for the rest of their lives that adenine goes with thymine, guanine goes with cytosine, and that the rails are anti-parallel. My name is John. I live in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm putting this, this, this lesson plan out under Creative Commons under the name of MRPHYSH. I used to have a cat named Mr. Fish. It's named after my cat, Mr. Fish, and it's also named after the YouTube channel that I have. Go to my channel and look at my videos. They're not particularly suited for elementary school kids, but you never know. Many of them are in molecular biology. And um, give me a call if, you, if, you're, if you're so inclined. I'd love to hear stories about people using this lesson plan. If I may say so, it's brilliant.